So that had some big strawberries last year. I clean up all this stuff off the top, but uh, I don't know if these are alive or not. I'm gonna give them some water and see what happens. Maybe some fertilizer. Tomatoes, again, I transferred from mom. The way she had them in cups, only these two come out, so I separate them so she know what it was. Again, I have to clean up, so please don't judge me. Give me time. Over here is Carolyn raspberry. I had two, I gave one to my sister. That's mine right there. Okay. Over here, scallions and more scallions. I have scallions at the Wazooka. My mother loves to use them. Carrots, I planted this in February also. I do not have the data. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Look here, look here. I did have a stick, 16 February. Carrots and they came up. Okay, I have one called my little patch of dirt. This little hole right here. It's fenced off, I have to get in it, but I haven't been in it in a while. And I've got some garlic in there over the winter. They came up, see, garlic. I think three came out of all of them, two, three. And then I had one tomato left over from my mom, so I planted it in the hole. So I need to take care of this hole now, but like I said, there's so much things to do. All I can do is plant everything out and clean up afterwards. Again, this one is another one I have, barrel I have over the winter. This is to keep the squirrel and the raccoons out. And this is, the sign says April 14. April 14, I have the scallions in here. That's my mom's scallions. And I think it's a radish, only one came up right there. I don't see the carrots. So anyway, this is um, colored. This is Georgia colored. Okay, and these are kale. And I don't see a sign for the kale, so these ones must be the ones I grew. But all the other Georgia colored, I just put them here because they were small. I'm gonna transplant them out, spread them around the place. But I guess I just need to get the stuff in the dirt and then I can clean everything up and then I figure it out. But I need to get my dirt. This is more carrots. And this is March 5th. Okay, oh, get over here, oops. March 29th, I, had, I don't know what I planned in March 5th, but it didn't work out, so March 29th. These are carrots, and they're doing good. This is my first year I had so many carrots. Every other year I tried, I met one or two, one container survived. The rest, I don't know what happened, but I'm getting better. These are my mother's tomato I plant. I transplanted out yesterday again. I have to go water because it did not rain last night. More tomatoes, okay? More tomatoes. And this old counter, I'll get to it eventually. I'll empty it off so I can put containers on here. Clean up, clean up, but I have to Get the stuff planned out first. This is pak choy. I started with this from scratch. I had some loose seeds, I should say, scratch from loose seeds. I had loose seeds and I put them in here. Look at, oh, there we go. March 26. Let me get this out of here. March 26, pak choy. These are home seeds. So we see what happens. Okay. I put tomatoes in this. On the container she gave me, only had what four tomatoes in here so I put all four in this thing by themselves so I know what they are I didn't put the name back on it because I didn't have time so hopefully she'll recognize what they are or not when they come up we'll know what it is so this four I need to water by this once I'm finished my goal right here is this old thing will be raised bed but on a not in the ground raised bed you know on stuff these are the wood I bought to fix my container over there, you know, to fix that. That's my number one goal right now. And then I have some of these, my mother got these on from the fruits market a couple years ago though. Let me sit here, waiting on me to use them. If you look over, there's two more over here. And I love the structure. So what I'm gonna do is build up them and use them. Okay, and this was a strawberry bed I had and it was like three, four years now. Nothing. I don't think anything is coming out this year. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to build this up, make it taller. I mean, I'm going to use the structure, the frame. I'm going to make it taller, fence off, and put some more strawberry in it. I'm going over to Walmart or Home Depot and get some more strawberries. This is onions. And as it gets taller, I'm going to have to take this off because let them keep growing. But I keep the net match on. I don't know if you can see the match. 
Match is right here. Ooh, can you see them? Yeah, there it is. It's yeah. I have to protect everything. These are Georgia colors again. I put there was three in this one. One did not survive, but I have two still. That's good. And I'm going to circle all this junk. I have to clear away my mesh and my nets and my wires. All this I have to get rid of. And my little friend right here. Do what he can. Okay, I already did right here, so I'm repeating myself. And I'm it's a circle, I'm going down. All this containers here, stockpile here. I just need time to get all this stuff done. I don't think I did this pack two, I did April 22nd. Yeah, these are pack choy. Like I said, my mom loves pack choy. And I need to raise elevate this now because the pack choy is tall. So I'm gonna put this over here for now. I figure some something later on some fencing around it or match or something these are more carrots april 29 i mean march 29 is that march 29 yep and trust me on this like i said this is the first year i had so many carrots the potatoes from inside everybody remember the potatoes from inside that i had inside over the winter here it is i put it inside this container and it's doing good i put it inside this container with the box remember the tall box it's doing good my only Brussels sprout. I just hope I don't have these things too close together. I'm going to find out. And let's check a lettuce. And see, when you have space, you, stuff, you stick stuff in there. And I really that other thing get big and expand. So I got the lettuce right there. And I stuff some extra onions in there. And this is a parsley right here. Look at that. Too many things in there, but I'll work on that later. Some things I picked up at Home Depot. Eggplant. My eggplant did not come out this year. Another tomato. This one is, um, uh, yeah, I didn't have Mr. Stripey. So I picked up Mr. Stripey. I picked up two, I gave one to my sister in law. And um, over here is uh, cucumbers. Yes, here's my cucumbers. I knew I had cucumbers somewhere. I have to transplant everything out. Beans, pepper, more pepper. These are snap beans. Okay. Oops, I dropped that. And over here is snap beans, and this is zucchini. I got another one, but the other one over there, I'm growing from seed. I picked up two, gave one to my sister-in-law again. And the eggplant, I guess my eggplant did not come up. I got two on this one, gave one to my sister-in-law. And more peppers. I think these are my mom's pepper I transplanted. Yeah, it was leftover from the, or leftover from the other container. I just stuck them this with dirt. Okay, as we keep moving down, time. My mother loved time. I have another box I have to make for her. But it's her time. It's gonna be not much time in here. The lettuce again. More pak choy. Oops, don't make you dizzy. This is my blueberry plant from last year. It came right back up. So I can get over there. I'm gonna give it some fertilizer, but it's doing good. You even have blossoms on it. So, I, oh, I might get some blueberries off of this this year. Empty container right there. See, so things I have to do. These are lettuce that came up by itself. I had lettuce in this last year and they went to seed. I have a mesh around it, of course. So I have to protect everything if I want anything. If not, the squirrels and the raccoons will dig everything up. Another buck time for my mom, but I don't think it came up. It's not coming back up. So see the squirrel we're digging over here. So what I'm gonna do is pull this up and plant something else in here this year. All oh, my strawberry died. I don't know what happened this year. Oh. It's just scallion in this small container, just sitting tight. This parsley, more parsley. This is weed, but um, all my strawberry that you see the container is all tore up from the raccoons and the squirrels. Those has to be raccoons, so big. So, what I'm gonna do is when I get a chance, things I have to clean up. It's another container over here. Oh, the glare is not too much. There you go. My strawberry died, so this is a Ladies, I bought at Home Depot. This was time again. I don't think, I think this is all wild stuff. So I'm gonna pull that up. I'm gonna pull that up and plant something in it. My other owl, another one here somebody gave me. From, the head fell off, it's over here. So as soon as I get a chance to get over there, I get the head and put it back on and put my, owl, my second owl back to work. Okay, this is strawberry. Again, I bought these, and these are Delis. These are beautiful, right? Yeah. 
I got the other thing from Park Seed. So that's that. My garlic chive, this is my third year. And it, it was thicker last year. I don't know what happened this year, I guess. I should be happy. I think I'm going to separate some this year so I can have more. But I have the seeds from the others growing also. Empty containers I need to work on. Like I said, I need time. My soil, I need time. The park seed dome. I am disappointed with this, but I think it's my fault because I just put the things inside and I didn't do too good. I mean, I have a couple of tall ones, skinny tall ones. My tomatoes came out. The peppers are small, but I'm going to I'm gonna transplant these next into something bigger to see what I can, if I can save this. Okay, pop choy from seeds. I had this inside the house. Okay, I also had, what's this, kale? Oh yeah, kale. Excuse me. This is kale. Yeah, this was from inside the house. Okay, oh look, I have one Siberian kale also. So Siberian kale, so one on side, okay. I'll transplant these. These are tomatoes again from my mom. I just put this on it. It'll get water because the screw will dig up. They dug it up already. They want to do it twice. My mother's mint. She loves mint. She got like three different varieties floating around here. More peppers for my mother. The tomatoes. More peppers. All these are on in the empty containers. This one is my mom's Kalaloo bar. I'm going to put the Kalaloo in here. Okay. This was used to be all lettuce. And there's more lettuce coming up as you can see there okay cut that off eventually but my mother's mint that was up here the mint here i guess the seeds came down here because i got mint coming up in here mint right there and mint over there so this is gonna be a mint box eventually i'm my like i'm more i'm more likely to just pull out the lettuce or let them come up cut them out the box next year this is gonna be all mint box tomato okay and again the scaling with I'm not sure what these are okay and then more peppers my mom peppers my mom peppers my mom peppers my mom get carried away and I, I'm wasting my breath telling her not to do so much because she still do it every year what am I gonna do okay over here is my raspberry my cherry and my five apple trees last year only one I only had apple when I get all this stuff and I need to clean up, I can get closer. But last year, only this one had apples. The other one, the screw took everything. I had four apples off of this tree and I had to put a net over it, which was hard, but I had to save something. Okay, so there's my apple tree. And that is my garden tour. Again, please don't judge. This is not garbage. These are um, bottles, Keep bottles and cans for my nephews to sort out and take to the bottle place and keep them a change for themselves. These will be gone in the next couple of days. So anyway, and then slowly my old garden will come together. But everything takes time. And if I clean up first, I will not have nothing done before summer. So I do every, plant everything out, sort it out, and then I will clean all this stuff up. Hope you enjoyed this tour. Subscribe if you like and thumbs up if you love it. Thank you.